All right, so welcome back here on adobelife.com. We are live from the 99U conference in New York City. What is 99U? It's, a, it's an annual conference. It's actually the ninth 99U conference that we're uh, holding here in New York. And uh, it's, all, it's a conference all about empowering the creative community. And I have with me two very esteemed guests from that creative community and who are our new creative residents for 2017. Yeah. Hello, Yuya Nimke and Andre Laro. How are you guys doing? Doing all right. Yeah, yeah. Doing, all right. Trip. doing pretty good. Okay, partying hard, New York City. I live here, so oh, you I... live here, so you party every time, so. Yeah. Okay. Well, I partied yesterday a little bit uh, at the kickoff party. Okay. Yeah, which was nice. The 99U kickoff party. Yeah, okay. and I got to meet all the other residents because, you know, like yes. we are in Germany, so I didn't meet the residents from mm -hmm. the States yet, yeah, so, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah so cool. Julia is our, uh, one of our first residents in, uh, that, that actually are based in Germany. This is the first time that we do that. Um, uh, this is actually the third year that we have the creative residency uh, here at Adobe, and the first year and the second year was all US based. And uh, for the first time in 2017, we actually have two creative residents from Germany. And you know, that's pretty cool because you're yeah. gonna be doing stuff in German. We're gonna be, be talking about that in just a second. But cool. let me just quickly go over here to the creative residency itself. And basically, um, it's, a, it's an activity that we have here at, um, at Adobe to foster creativity. So let's start by just asking you guys, how, I mean, how did you come to the creative residency? How did that happen? Um, Starting with Julia, of course. Yeah. Yeah, okay, yeah, fine. go for it. The ladies first <laughs> thing. <laughs> um, well, I have a uh, friend who works at Adobe Stock and she sent me the link mm -hmm. to the residency program and she said, I think that would be something that could be suitable for you, mm -hmm. so why don't you just like try to apply for that? So mm -hmm. that's what I did, and that's I what was you did. Yeah, yeah, and it was successful. And after like a hundred interviews, yeah, <laughs> yeah, at, yeah, at that's least, about right. that's at about least, right, right. Yeah. How I about think, you, Andre? Um, I was shooting Fashion Week actually, and I got an email from an Adobe um, person who works on the creative residency who just told me they saw my Instagram work from. Huh? Fashion Week, so I should check it out. Um, it seemed kind of weird at first. It just, I was okay. like, this doesn't seem real. And then, like, I read into it, um, tweeted at some people that mm -hmm. had done it before, and then it kind of fell into place after that. But yeah, there was like 7,000 interviews later. Yeah, 7,000 interviews later, and here we are at 99U in New York City. Yeah, yeah so um, very quickly, I'm just going to go over the other residents as well. We're going to be talking to all of them uh, over the two days here live uh, on Adobe.com, on uh, AdobeLive.com. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> This is called jet lag, my friends. And hello, by the way, my <laughs> friends in uh, in the chat. Oh, Julia is here. Julia Zieger. Uh, ah, you remember? Cool. Yes, yeah. she was on stream with us a few weeks back. Yeah. Hello, Julia. Hi. Uh, Dorina, made by. And Lenny McLovin, he was also at the uh, oh. live stream in Paris. Ah, yeah. all right. You have yeah. like fans and yeah. stuff? I always I stumble into Julia's stream. Ah, okay. I see. Yes, yes, yes. Cool. You mean you don't have any fans? I guess I don't have any fans yet. No, yeah, not yet. Not so, yet. Should I just not After yet. the live stream, you will have fans. <laughs> so yeah, so we're going to be talking about um, uh, about the creative residency and uh, the plans for 2017 with Jessica, with Chelsea. Uh, Rosa Rosa is our other uh, creative resident from Germany. Andre, sitting right next to me. Uh, Natalie and Julia. And that's it. Oh, that's six residents, actually. That's, yeah. that's the six residents for this year. Um, let's start with you, Julia, and let's go over to what. Which do you prefer, the Behance or the? Uh, I'd say maybe the Instagram. Instagram, okay. Because I don't have that much stuff on Behance yet. Okay. Yeah. So tell us a little bit about you. Who is Julia Nimke? Who is Julia? Well, <laughs> Julia lives in Berlin. Okay. You can talk in the third person. That always makes it more interesting. <laughs> and right? Ju Julia is a photographer. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm. I'm 27, uh, and I'm. Uh, a master photographer and I mainly shoot portraits and nature so mm -hmm. pretty much the opposite like when I did a lot of landscape stuff I feel like shooting more portraits again and the other way around as well um, yeah and here you can see like a few uh, well the latest posts are all related to the Adobe Creative Residency mm -hmm. um, but before that you can see some photos from travels that I did like recently, I was in Morocco. Uh, 
so you can see the Sahara and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And yeah, that's so, pretty amazing, right? Yeah, that's like one of those life-changing experiences. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's really nice. Like yeah, sitting on the Atlas, the yeah. mountain range there, and looking at the Sahara, it's like life-changing. Yeah. Yeah, so I like to like shoot landscape stuff and keep it very minimalistic in a way, but still try to capture atmosphere. Uh, and also here you can see some double exposures um, that I've been doing. And it's also th something I will do more during the residency. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. yeah. Let's move over to you for a second, uh, Andre. Which one do you prefer, the Behance? The oh. Let's do Instagram first. Instagram, and then we'll okay. See if we can do a little tease after. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, I mean, my work is kind of all over the place. Um, I just posted an image from uh, a couple weeks ago when I got to shoot the NCAA tournament. So I used to be a journalism major, and I worked at my student paper in college. So I shot a lot of sports, and I had the opportunity to go shoot that. Mm -hmm. And then um, since then, you'll see on the right these two really colorful portraits are from a holy festival that I did um, with some of my friends at Pursuit of Portraits. Shot that. And oh, then, and this is not a double exposure? No, it's not. You can click on it if wow. you want to see it. It's yeah, it's crazy. just a full format um, image that mm -hmm. is just uh, just really great timing, like a great mystery to it. Mm -hmm. um, and then right before that, I had the pleasure of doing, uh, just scroll down a little bit, I got to do this thing called Cameras and Dancers with some of my friends at the Kennedy Center. This um, one here? For yeah. Sure. So I got to capture all these like really powerful dancers. Um, I generally shoot a lot of like uh, more intimate portraits, but this was interesting because you didn't have to really art direct the dancers. Mm -hmm. Like you spoke to them, I spoke to them about how I felt about something, and then they would move their body in a certain way, which was incredible. Mm -hmm. well. More tournament stuff, and then some portraits. All right, because uh, one of the one of the interesting things about the, uh, the Adobe Creative Residency is uh, that we actually. Um, um, finance a whole year of creativity and research for you guys, right? That's, I mean, that's the key thing, right? Like, it's like so cool to be able to, to just create and not worry about, do you have to bill? Do you have to write bills and stuff like, or can you not do that for a whole year? Is that... We cannot do that for a whole year. Okay, that's yeah. cool. <laughs> so there, there's no pressure. <laughs> no pressure. The only pressure is that they have to share their work. They have to share their process. They have to they have to engage with uh, with the community and uh, and yeah and share you know what what their work is all about how how they how they get to their ideas how they produce their ideas etc. So it's going to be super interesting to see you know uh, Julia's work and Andre's work and we're going to get to uh, to the specifics in in just a second. Actually, starting with you, Julia. I'm mean, ping pong, right? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, let's yeah. T tell us a little bit about you know your plan for the creative residency mm -hmm. and um, you know what your ideas are for this yeah. one year um, creative project. Uh, so well, my project is mainly that I will be traveling across Europe mm -hmm. uh, with my Sprinto van, uh, and I will capture places uh, and people that are connected to folk tales. Mm -hmm. So um, and I will try out different techniques of storytelling. So. I want to have some more challenges to uh, and try out more stuff in video and cinematography and double exposures and collages and also do a mixture of interviews and uh, to to get them deeper uh, to go into the theme deeper. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So that's the plan that I have and. Yeah, I have this converted van, so I'm gonna sleep in the van, uh, and I try to find nice remote places. Uh, yeah, and that's basically what I'm gonna have as the main project mm -hmm. for, yeah, for, so for saw, the year. Yeah, so I saw you have a very busy schedule already. So yeah. I, I saw that all, already next week you're gonna be doing um, Yeah, yeah, I just started last week, uh, like here on the Instagram. Mm -hmm. uh, the, the first three photos there from a hike that I did last week. Um, and also, I... Uh, portrait or did portraits with a mapper or cartographer. Okay. Um, but they're not on the website yet mm -hmm. because I still try to figure out on which platform I'm going to share it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, uh, yeah, but so I started last week and I'm going to do some more next week because, uh, yeah, I'll be in Germany and there are a lot of folk tales in, in Germany as well. And and after that, I think at the beginning of July, I'm going to do my first big trip uh, across 
Great Britain all the way up to Scotland. Mm -hmm. And I'm really looking forward to that uh, and to meet people and yeah. There's some quite interesting legends there as well. Yeah, yes. totally. <laughs> yeah, so we had that conversation. Julia said, oh, I'm going to tweet every time I stop the car and blah, blah. And I said, hey, stop. No, no, don't do that. Yeah, <laughs> Maybe yeah. do it the day after. Yeah, yeah. I'm not going to let you know where exactly no, I am. No. Maybe, maybe the day after or with like yeah. two days yeah. difference. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yesterday I'm, I was in... Exactly. I was taking pictures of Nessie. And yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Awesome. Andre, how about you? What, what, what is your plan for this year? What's, what was the idea that got you the residency? So hilariously, our projects are kind of like an interesting mirror of each other. Mm -hmm. um, my project's called, uh, it's focused on how location impacts thought. So it's a portrait series um, similar to Julia's, but instead of traveling through Europe, we travel through America. Um, and I've basically just been choosing cities along the way that I think have really interesting narratives. Um, and my goal is to create complete portraits of people. Um, so I have like a control, a certain list of questions that I'm asking everyone with a, like a little bit of variance in each one. Um, questions like, you know, what was your first love like? Or why isn't this the perfect place for you? And the idea is I want to see how um, specific values and stories, if they populate in certain areas mm -hmm. um, and like how divided or united we are mm -hmm. as, as a nation. Um, so it's going to be really interesting. Instead of doing Spinner Van, I'm going to be doing the good old Amtrak, which is going to be fascinating. Mm -hmm. um, so prepare for all a bunch of weird posts from that. Um, yeah. But no, I'm really excited um, just hearing all these different micro stories. So like mm -hmm. right after this, I'm going to go to Texas uh, okay. and do Austin, San Antonio, and El Paso. Um, and some of those are just some pretty, oh, hey, hello from Texas for sure. If you yeah, have yeah. any recommendations <laughs> for me, feel free to Reach out. Ryan, Ryan, um, Texas. Yep, Ola from Texas. But yeah, so um, you, obviously there'll be some border stories, but I'm also looking forward to in Austin, for example, there's a lot of transplants and understanding how that culture has shifted, mm -hmm. um, being this one spot in a small place that's in like Texas greater. So I think that as the year progresses, seeing everything mixed together is going to be really interesting. Um, and then I'm going to try to figure out how to make content that the viewer can engage with just as much as I engage with the subject. Mm -hmm. Um, so yeah, I mean, in a way, like her, your project's really inspiring and calming for me because I know I'm not crazy and we're working on something kind of similar. <laughs> not at all. Yeah. So it'll be, it'll be like nice to have like a European twin um, yeah. somewhere in the world. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Uh, so yeah, I'm, uh, all these all these trips across the U.S. across Europe. Oh, I mean, you can come. Do you want to come with us? You can, split it. you can come with me, you can come with Julia. Yeah, yeah I'll, I'll, you know, I'll, I'll do these surprise visits. <laughs> like, hey! hey. <laughs> Out of the blue. I saw you tweet from, uh, from Loch Ness. Oh, man. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here, checking on you guys. <laughs> hey, Evil Cerise. Yes, Evil Cerise is, uh, is our moderator. Oh, okay. He's in Germany, and he's, he's such a good guy, always moderating for us. Well, thank you for yes. keeping us safe. Yeah, and everybody knows <laughs> everybody knows uh, Evil Cerise, but you remember? Evil yeah, Cerise? I remember yes, him. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So we He's sent great. Evil Cerise some macarons last uh, during the last. Oh, year. nice. Yes, yes. Yeah. All right. So let's go in a little bit more into depth um, uh, into into your work, Julia. Yeah. And um, uh, so, so that's the announcement. Uh, yeah. Is there another place that you are going to be sharing your work uh, on? Or I'm going to share it on my website. Okay. Um, so. I will probably, I'm still trying to figure out whether I'm going to do it in a blog style mm -hmm. or whether I'm creating a new kind of gallery uh, that's combining videos mm -hmm. and cinematographs and photography. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, but basically you can, I think there will be the more details on the website and mm -hmm. uh, the on basic. On this one here? Yeah, on this one. Okay. So when you go to Wizard, uh, you should see it, mm -hmm. and yeah. So I think there will be a new gallery option soon um, with the project that I will mm -hmm. be doing, yeah. And here you can see the last travels that I've been doing, um, and yeah, which are quite a lot. Is there a picture of your, of your van somewhere? There is one when you go to the Balkans. Um, Oh, that's the first time you used it, right? Yeah, I yeah, I well. bought it last year and then I converted it. Uh, yeah, that was 
You have to look very close to see the, the route that I've yes. been taking. You can I see it's there. See the oh, this there. is, oh, this, this, yeah. this little fine line. This here. little fine line there, there, and okay. all the way up along the coastline. You drive through Romania as well? Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, oh, wow. it's so beautiful. Yeah. I want to go there again. Actually, I actually went to Cluj Napoca. Ah, yeah. Yes, yeah. I went to Cluj Napoca, like, what, well, maybe in. Right after Ceausescu was uh, was thrown out of government, ah, okay. and I, I drove there with two trucks full of uh, design um, material stuff, like to bring because there's a design school in Cluj Napoca. So okay. I thought with the school with the art center we did, we filled two trucks and I drove them with a friend to Cluj Napoca. Okay, yeah, yeah. 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 awesome. Yeah. All the way through, yeah, we Budapest. Yeah, and that was right at the time when the Balkan War was starting. So we were we were planning to drive through Yugoslavia to go back to Switzerland, yeah. but we couldn't Oof. because the, the borders closed over the oh. few days. So what did you do? We drove over Austria. Oh, okay. Yeah, like yeah. No, no. There's always okay. a way home <laughs> on this side of the planet or on that side of the planet. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. I think when you go further a little bit, uh, just like ah, there so, you go. yeah. yeah. So that's the inside of my van. Oh, nice. Uh, that's movie evenings. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, yeah, but I converted it a little bit more, so now I have more of a kitchen area and more storage uh, and some more yeah storage for mm. the gear and stuff. Uh, and from the outside, it's very unspectacular. It's mm. just a white uh, Sprinter van. And I think that's very good because I don't want people to know that it's a camper van, mm -hmm. so I can just stand somewhere and people don't, like, there's no police or anything coming. Ah, yes. Yeah. Nobody uh, would expect anybody to see Yeah, exactly, there. exactly. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, that's my little van. Awesome. Um, that's some incredible pictures there as well. Yeah, that's Romania, actually. Mm. Yeah. Can you climb that roof for that? No, it's like a wall. Okay. Then, yeah, but it looks like I was on the roof, right? I was like, yo, all right. <laughs> yeah. I am a drone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm going to get a yeah. drone to do some aerial photography. I really want to do so that. So Marcia says, lovely portfolio, and Helen, that's awesome. I'd live in the van, van like that. Yeah, yeah. Like, I'd live in the van, She's, in a van like that. It's well, up for rent if you want to share it with her. <laughs> Well, uh -huh. you know, after the residency, Julia is going to sell her van. What? <laughs> She's going to make a big auction. <laughs> She's actually going to do a project after residency called Van Mates. So every week, just a brand new person. Yeah. Swing in. Interesting. Oh, did you know? I'm just kidding, right? She's not going to sell her van. No, actually, that's, no. that's not an option no. in, in Julia's world. No. No. <laughs> no. Uh. Let's go back here. Yeah. Actually, and Andre, let's look at some of uh, some some other work that 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 you have. Uh, cool. Let's uh, like, let's go to Behance. To Behance. Okay. Uh, ba -ba -ba. Is there if a link here? You go here? back. Go back yeah. to the residency page. Ba -ba -ba. Here we go. Yeah. Swoop. And yeah. <laughs> ah, you said you had a, a story to tell here. Yeah. So. Um, let's go to my neighbor's project. Can you show you guys this? Mm -hmm. So uh, one of the reasons why I wanted to work on a project about um, what America is like right now is when I was in college my last project I did was called My Neighbors um, and it was a project about the other side of our college town that was the east side that was away from campus that just a lot of people didn't go to um, and like street photography is awesome for a lot of reasons but I think the main focus of it is like you just see like this whole gamut of emotions and I'm like looking through these even now and I'm still really proud of these images like um, obviously a lot of work like a lot of like just sitting around goes into this. It's not all like really, really awesome. But there's something really nice about like approaching someone and talking to them and they're really cool about, you know, they're happy to let you shoot them. Mm -hmm. And you sit and wait for an hour or two hours and you get a couple of these. Like this first image is still really strong to me. Um, there's like a little um, reflection of a police car light on this lady's face as a series of people are getting arrested. And it was just super strong. Like I, I remember that moment really well. Um, I just kind of took it by chance. My friend Kira that I went to high school with used to call these happy accidents. Mm. Um, but yeah, I mean, I thought about the work. When I thought about what I wanted to write for the residency, I thought about work that was difficult, but I also felt um, that I could do easy, more easily if I had less like financial pressure. Like obviously now we have like social pressure. Like we have stuff <laughs> yeah, we have to do. Yeah. And we want to make sure we want to do a really good job. But, um, but is that I a lot of that, pressure? 
in a, in a certain way, I mean, now that you have the opportunity, I mean, we've all done this before. You mm -hmm. see someone who has a great opportunity and you're like, man, if I had that, I would knock it out of the park. <laughs> um, and then you're like, yeah, but you know, it's not always that easy. So yeah. you know, now, now I'm like taking like a really appreciative approach. Like on my way this morning, I was reading this Aziz and sorry, New York Times article, and he talks about like not ever putting yourself in a box when people are used to seeing you do the same stuff. They just assume mm -hmm. that's all you can do. Um, and continuing to prove to yourself and other people that you can try other stuff. And when I first did this, this stressed me out a ton. Um, so, but I, I left it. I left it feeling really proud of what I was doing. Um, actually, if we want to go through some of these, like mm. it, there was just a lot of stuff that um, count really well with me. So you go ahead. Yeah, oh feel, yeah, feel free. Um, this is probably my favorite photo um, of the entire thing. But basically, I'm trying to do this again. Um, but in a much larger scale. And I want to kind of leave feeling like I know more about this country that I've lived in since I was four or five. Um, so I was born in Jamaica, fun fact by, for you guys. Um, and then I just think it's really important, like I used to collect state coins as a kid, and I really kind of like the idea of like America connecting to each other, so I'm just trying to figure that out now. Um, I guess click out of that and go to Fashion Week. Yep. Thanks, sir. This last one on the bottom. Um, also, thank you, Juan and Michael, Lenny, and Thomas. Um, yeah, thanks. You guys even getting up early or late or whatever time it yeah. is to listen to it. I have to say, Julia's much cooler. <laughs> so. Where are you guys watching from, by the way? Just give us a little little yeah. hint in the in the chat. And uh, yeah, yeah. Typically, it's from all over the world. Yeah, yeah. That's where the pressure is, man. No, I mean, <laughs> I mean, in a good way, like, yeah, obviously, yeah, yeah. like, you know, pressure makes diamonds, so you got to make cool stuff. Um, but yeah, where are you guys from? What are you doing? Let's try that again. Those hands freezing up. The work's too bad, it won't pull it up. <laughs> no, no, no. That's the work that got you, that got, that got the interest, right? Yeah. So yeah, this was really fun. I'd never done Fashion Week before. Um, it is a very, how many states am I trying to go to, Janet? Honestly, right now, yo, Chicago's, yes, Chicago's definitely on the list. Um, wow. Yeah, I'll do that with everybody. This is, this is an answer from my, from the, from the question where you guys are watching from. Oh, yeah, South yeah. Africa, Denmark, Germany, San Malta. Fran. Wow. Yeah, wow. Nice. Portugal, Puerto Rico. Um, so yeah, basically... Uh, wow, Japan! Yo, oh shout God. out to Japan. <laughs> cool. Um, yeah, I mean, just real quick, you guys have seen Fashion Week stuff before, but for me, as someone who's not a giant fashion photographer, I just try to sneak in and have my own style with it, so get like little moments with models. I tried a bunch of new stuff, like with prisms, um, and just trying to go to some like more offbeat shows. What do you mean shows. by prisms? Prisms are like, Julia, you've used one before, right? Yeah. So it's basically just like you using different, putting different glass in front of your lens to um, obfuscate it and like mess with your depth oh, of field. Okay. Um, this probably was my favorite photo of it. It was kind of a happy accident, but there's something nice, something nice about this like really interesting nipple mixed with all this darkness. Let's point to it. <laughs> <laughs> Not because you're pointing with your finger and oh, you know, sorry. People, people can't see you. <laughs> um, so yeah, guys, I mean, this is basically it. It was also nuts to think how much preparation went into like a 10 minute show. Yeah. It was really hard for me to like deal with that. Um, but yeah, that's basically it. Um, do you guys have any questions for us? Yeah. Well, there's still people saying where they're watching from. Well, shout out to Rio de Janeiro. All right, let's have a let's have a quick, like a view of, of what's happening uh, around here because one of the conferences is just finished and everybody's coming out of the yeah. conference yeah. hall. There's so like there's a, hundred... a lot of activity around here. <laughs> they're all Julia's yeah, fans, yeah, guys. This is like they're waiting for <laughs> GoPro. <laughs> yeah. <signature. laughs> Thank you. Um, or Elija, I'm so sorry if I say your name incorrectly. As someone who's had their name said incorrectly many times, I feel that pain. Yeah, I just look out of that. I'm not talking about my work anymore, I'm sorry. All right. <laughs> Thank you. Let's talk a little bit more about Julia. Yes. Yes, because in five minutes exactly, we're going to be starting also with our portfolio review. Hell yeah. So basically, we had uh, people in the past few weeks uh, submitting their portfolios to us. And uh, yeah, and the deal was we were going to review the portfolios with our guests here live at 99U in New York City on adobelive.com. Yeah, yeah. Julia, just a few finishing words on, um, yes, on 
maybe on your passion for photography and how it started? Yeah, okay. Well, it started, it's, it's very cliche, because I started when I was like 12 years old. I got my first camera, uh, and then I was like very much into shooting almost everything that was around me. Uh, and I would shoot family and nature and friends and uh, animals. And yeah, and when I was 16, I uh, went to this um, magazine and I asked them if they have like, or if I could join them because they had a, um, like two pages that were made by young students. Mm -hmm. So I could enter there and I got the first money for shooting. Uh, and then when I was 18, I did an apprenticeship and after that a master in photography. And yeah, so it's very straight. Like I, I just knew I loved that, and I never really thought that I want to have like a job where I'm gonna go to from nine to seven or nine to five, and then yeah. So so I always wanted to have something that I'm working on that's uh, part of my life in general, uh, because I didn't want to have the feeling of having to work. So that's why she does look like Kate Blanchett. I agree with that. Kate Blanchett? Yeah, <laughs> oh my I completely God. agree with that. I've been trying to figure it out for all this time. Well said. <laughs> and uh, just a question. I mean, you talk about the master, and yeah. I think that it's it's not in, it's not like the master like in university master, right? Yeah. In, in Germany, it's like being a photographer is like taken very seriously, right? Yeah. And you're either yeah. a photographer or you're not. Yeah. And, and actually, pho real photographers get really mad. When people like start putting photos on, uh, oh. on, and they're not part of the master photographer. <laughs> I'm thing. so sorry. Did I have I offended you? I'm so sorry. I'm <laughs> well, not a master <laughs> photographer. No, no, no. That's no, kind of that's no. kind of interesting because uh, especially with stock photography, um, you know, people start publishing their images, and then we have uh, like photographers from Germany saying, "Yeah, but you're not a photographer. You're yeah, not." Yeah, the they're very it's like. There, there's a difference in Germany between photographer and photo designer. Ah. So you, you can name yourself as a photo designer without having uh, studied photography. Uh, but you are actually just allowed to say you're a photographer when you have studied it or did an apprenticeship or something like that. So people are very like, okay, you're not an actual photographer. Is that, that uh, crazy or what? <laughs> It's such a hot take because here now, especially since Instagram exploded, everyone's so loose with it. Yeah. Like everyone's a photographer. Like Kanye said in an interview four years ago, he's like, remember when a photographer, it was sexy to be a photographer? It's sexy to be a photographer again, I think. And uh, yeah, this is live. Um, yeah. <laughs> it's sexy to be a photographer again, I think, just because everyone has the opportunity and now everyone is trying to learn how to do it because we have it on our hands at phones. Mm -hmm. But I do think it's nice that there's like a sense of mastery. Mm -hmm. That's really cool. Yeah. yeah. So. All right. So yeah. So your passion from the twelve-year-old from Julia the twelve-year-old Julia, <laughs> and now I'm here sitting in New York. Yeah. So it's it's been a good travel, so a good journey so far. Yeah. How about you, Andre? How did you get into photography? How did when did it all start? When did you know? Uh, I don't know if I ever knew. Um, Thomas is just coming at you right now. But yeah. Um, no, when I was in high school. Um, I think before high school, I would just take photos all the time. If I was ever to a relative's house, I would always play with their cameras. I don't know why. Um, really, Jordan Peele. Okay, I'll t that's great. Okay. I would, I'd die happy, man. Um, but yeah, I mean, basically, <laughs> when I was in high school, um, I was just a huge nerd. I did a lot of drama, and my drama teacher, my when I was 15, gave me his old film camera from like the 70s and the Nolta. So I liked it a lot. I'd play with it, um, and I would just kind of spend all my money like getting my film developed and I took a lot of photos and then would just kind of keep doing it. When I was in college I wasn't a journalism major, I mean I wasn't a photo major, but I would take classes when I had chances. Um, and then when I moved to New York it was just kind of like something that I could do until I figured out what I was going to do and then it just kept paying for me not to die and then get paid for me to do other stuff and then I really started to take it seriously. And I think like speaking even of pressure, like being here and being around some of the really talented people that I know, being able to see with them and create with them has helped me like grow exponentially in this way that I couldn't before. So like really it's just my work is a reflection of the people that have taken time to like think that I could do something. Like um, my teacher who gave me that camera isn't alive anymore so I like really hold it cherished like deep to me. But at the same time I do wish I could ask him what he why he decided to do that. 
Um, but it was just such a big thing, um, and I enjoyed it a lot. So, do you have a teacher that you remember that that changed your life in the in the better or the worst? Um, I went to this photo course when I was 14, and I had a mentor there, and she was uh, she. She was a great person, and I remember that she that she was pushing me and saying me, telling me, okay, you should go further, you should do more photography, and uh, you should try to not shoot the obvious pictures, but something yeah. that's touching and that's different from from a tourist photo, for example. Mm -hmm. And yeah, so she was a, an yeah, important Yeah, that's part. why we all laughed about. This. About the <laughs> iPhone storm, yeah. Hey, no, yeah. I mean, it's still no, no, good. No, no. You yeah, frame no, no. it is, so beautifully. This is a great picture here. The, yeah. Yeah, that was Paris. It was beautiful there. Yeah. Yes, because when was it? Like three two, weeks? Two weeks ago. Only two weeks ago? I, I don't know. That could well be. I think you, you were in India yeah. last week, right? So it was the week before. No, because or? the week I before was Typo. Uh, yeah, right. It, yeah. Okay, so it's See, three weeks already. It's like already. time's rushing. Yeah, Ooh. all right. So let's move on to our second part of, uh, of this hour that we're spending together with Julia and uh, Andre. And let's check out some of the portfolios that were uh, submitted to us. And the first portfolio we're going to be looking at is Achilles' portfolio. Achille. Nice. I think I have the full name here in my little book. Achille Masso. And if I'm not, if I'm not, yes. Achille is from Lausanne in Switzerland. So Achille, if you are in the chat, please say hi. And if you have any questions for uh, Julia or Andre, please put them here. And uh, we'll try to answer those questions. So um, uh, Lausanne, Switzerland, that's actually where I grew up. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah, that's my, that's my uh, neighborhood. <laughs> Achille, cool. Yeah. Oh, okay. And you speak French there, right? Yes. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. So guys, is there and like let's let's move through the projects quickly like this. And what what I typically do is I ask you know uh, pick one that actually you know that piques your interest. Let's or go to Cameroon, 2015. Cameroon, 2015. Yeah, let's start with Cameroon. Yeah. Okay. Not now. What you got? Okay. Huh? What you got? Should I start? Yeah. Okay. Um, Oh, Swiss Civil Service in Cameroon. So I guess. Okay. Oh. When you um, Yeah, I looked at the portfolio yesterday, and what I really. <laughs> what's happening there? There's a SoundCloud link that isn't working. Uh, oh, okay. Oh, because okay. I didn't let Flash run. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, man. I'm sure the music was great. I apologize. Let's yeah. reload it. Okay. Um, I don't, I, the sound will not come through anyway, but we can trust it. At least it will look like uh, there's music. Oh, I think I thought no, we couldn't find the track. He's not yeah. here. Anyway, yet. Got, yes. Yeah. I sorry, I interrupted okay. you. Yeah. So we looked at the photos yesterday, and we were both like really impressed uh, uh, because they're very close and very emotional, uh, and I really like the first few photos. Uh, yeah. So. I but kind of feel like maybe you should tell more about this because it's like feels like this it's kind of street photography and it's maybe more like your part that you're okay. doing. So So I was going to say like you do a good job of isolating the subject if you scroll up. So in uh, in the first two images you do a really nice job um, really isolating the subject. Like we understand like everyone else works out really well in the image almost as like co-conspirators or as like extra pieces to the story mm -hmm. but the main focus is is this little girl um, and I think you do a good job of framing her and letting her exist in this world so there's so many other little micro stories going on but um, especially I'm sure you shot this um, at, a, at a low aperture I just think you did a really good job of that so if you continue to scroll down you can even see you had something similar going with these couple kids here but the difference is there's not a singular focus um, so I think that you, you should continue to play to your strengths. Like you have some really um, interesting angles and use of color from the green to this uh, purple here. But I want to know what you want me to see primarily. I'm assuming it's this kid whose hands are moving. But um, a long time ago, one of my teachers told me that a, can, a lens is like an eye. Um, but unlike an eye, a lens can't differentiate what's important immediately. So 
um, I would really be interested in just seeing what the frames were before and after this. Yeah. Um, but you have some great color, and there's like a lot of honesty in these images. Um, Juan, are you asking tips for photographing darker skin tones, like I guess myself? Um, I guess it's nicer because you can uh, stop up a little bit, so you can overexpose a tiny amount or even under and bring it back. Um, and then if you're shooting um, with harsher shadows, you can get some really interesting um, things that might not happen if you're shooting maybe a lighter skinned person because they seem a little more washed out. I don't know if that helps. Um, but yeah, so there's something interesting here. Even this image, yeah. um, this is tough because there's such low light, yeah. but um, I am curious about this mosquito net or even what it would look like at a different time of day. Um, but I do enjoy that you made sure you gave us several different pieces to this story, mm -hmm. um, which is something a lot of people don't do. And this image is beautiful. Yeah, that's this is more of a wonderful. Julia thing. Yeah, yeah. 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 We're live. Oh, we, I'm so, so, I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Funny. Um, yeah. This always happens. <laughs> we, so do you have no, the I was like counting my head. So when is this gonna happen? <laughs> Guys, that's Julia's mom. Okay. Yeah. I love, I love. <laughs> anyway, yeah. Yeah, this I is, love that one. This is the, yeah. This is that's a very, beautiful. Yeah. Uh, I love the light and I love the shadows here and also the composition and I think what's uh, what I always like to do and what <coughs> he did in the photo as well is having a person in it, so you kind of get a, an impression of the, the relations, like how... Of the scale. Um, yeah, of the scale and how uh, huge and how wonderful the landscape is. And it's very calming. I love the photo, yeah. Well, that one I didn't really get, I have to say. It's this confusing one? a little bit. The one with the gecko oh, or... The gecko? Yeah. Because uh, I think, the, the, for me, the problem is a little bit that the first thing I look at is this blue area mm -hmm. over here uh, that gets my attention yeah, and then the light the light whatever is brightest usually draws your eye yeah. or the most contrast yeah. so just be cognizant of that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Kids goofing around. Yeah. So if you scroll up a little bit. Yeah. So this is really interesting because now we start to get into a question of editing. So yeah. um, sometimes it's almost better to have six to ten images instead of 20 to 25. Um, the tones are really interesting. Um, even this image, the tones are different. It's a little more desaturated, yeah. a little bluer versus this. So I would say like try to keep that edit style consistent throughout um, so that we can get an idea this is a complete story. Yeah. Um, and this is still a beautiful image and a good moment, but it may not fit well with what you've already given us. Not to say there's not joy at this camp or anything like that, but there are some really strong um, single light images that you already have yeah. that I guess I want to see more of. Um, or even see what this edit style is like, or the frames in between it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, that's actually a very good point, because um, putting your work on, on Behance and creating a portfolio there is actually your opportunity to tell your story. Um, so we've seen at the very beginning here, you know, photography about your civil, uh, Swiss civilian service in Cameroon. It would be so awesome to know a little bit more about that, you know? Like, how, how does a Swiss civil service happen in Cameroon. Um, like, you know, I, you know, I, I remember that when, when I was in the army, because you have to be in the army in Switzerland. Oh, yeah. Okay. It's like, it used to be like that when I was there anyway. When, when, uh, but you had the choice, you could either go to the army or do civil service. So I, I'm guessing this is the kind of civil service, but I, you know, how did you end up in Cameroon? How did you, um, tell us a little bit about the story. And, um, and also, I think what uh, Andre said about the amount of pictures, um, it's, it's really important to actually um, select, to make a, a better selection, I think, yeah, because otherwise it's just a collection of very beautiful pictures, we all agree on that, but maybe there's a way of selecting the 10 that really represent um, uh, your uh, Cameroon experience. Right? Um, and you don't yeah. have a lack of great images, that's the difference. Sometimes it's difficult because people will have 40 really mediocre images, you have some really strong ones. Yeah. So I just want to see those brought to light at as much strength as you can. Yeah. Um, yeah. And it's always very nice also to, um, to have, oh, I'm just going to go up again, to have like textual information about, you know, <coughs> what's, what's the story here. Um, because in the end, you noticed, uh, Achille, is that uh, we basically made up our own story, yeah. right? Yeah. <laughs> we we thought, okay, so this is probably this. The focus is the girl, and, uh, and the light is really nice, and uh, the composition, and all that. 
but it would be great to actually hear it from from the creator of uh, of the uh, of the series. Yeah. Let's move back. Oops. Oh wow. That's my oh. Twitter. <laughs> that was just. That was Twitter. a not so subtle, subtle message to follow him. Do uh, it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Rufus D. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, let's see, how do I go back? Uh, click on the white. Uh, okay. Is there another project that you want to quickly uh, look at? Well, the first thing that got my attention was the Frontier. 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 Uh, so that's almost more graphic design, yeah, print it's design, design. Yeah. illustrated Photoshop. Okay. Great use of font. Yeah, great use of font. I love the structure and how this is going over the typo, so. Uh, yeah, I think that's even if it, it's, it's not a photograph, and a photograph should probably get my attention first because I'm a photographer. Oh, here we go. But here we have a, yeah. a good explanation. Yeah, but I think that's a nice piece, a very nice piece. After you guys follow uh, Rufus, go ahead and follow Julia. I don't know if she. Do you have a Twitter? Oh, yeah. I do. Okay, I don't she know is her now. I don't know I mean, her Twitter. I, she, but yeah. she didn't want to, but. No. I had to. But it's no, okay. Her German is. Her, Twitter is great. In German and English. In German, yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah, so this is very, very Swiss. Um, um, like, having grown up in Switzerland, it just really reminds me of, uh, of uh, you know, the Swiss atlas mm -hmm. and uh, the Swiss typography, you know, like very strict and uh, but very, very beautiful. I would love to have this as a poster. Yeah, mm -hmm. me too. Even though I don't know what's... Well, we don't have time to read yeah, now, but yeah. yeah. Let's Thank look you, at Evil series. One last Thank project. You. One last project is see. Yeah. Oh, yes, we're uh, still here. I, I think that one, the first one, yeah. was very interesting too. Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, it might take a second. Yeah. For loading. So that's no, oh, that's Cinema 4D. You know, that's an application that I see more and more. Although it's not an Adobe application, mm -hmm. but I think it's more and more part of a creative workflow. To actually add like this 3D element uh, to uh, to the work. Let's see if there's something to read here. Oh no! Oh wow! Ah, there it is. Okay. And basically, it's a 3D animation that you can. Can you zoom in? Oh, yeah. You can make things happen. Yeah. Whoa. Okay, stop. No more water. <laughs> oh, there's a button here, maybe. <laughs> like here. No. Huh. Oh, that's fun. Yeah. It's really yeah, so nice. I think, oh, that's super interesting, actually, because this is definitely something that we're going to be seeing more and more and yeah. more. And uh, I wouldn't even say in the coming years, I would say in the coming months. <laughs> yeah. Because it's moving so fast. I mean, we've even seen like in recent days, like uh, even Apple brought the yeah. you know, VR and, AR and, and augmented reality yeah. uh, to the table. Um, not that they're the first ones; they're probably no, the no, last no, no. ones. But uh, it was super interesting to see how how all these things are coming now to, to the mass market. So Ashit, oh, and you can zoom in. Oh wow! Dude, your project is. Your portfolio has a lot of um, variants to it, which is awesome. My portfolio has no 3D. I don't know about you, Julia, but I don't got that. No. Um, uh, are it, she asked us a question okay. um, about what social media channels. Oh, okay. Evil series? Okay, Evil series already uh, answered that. No, no, no. But uh, Aureli said ah, what, which, what social media channels okay. are more for you to share your Ah, okay, okay. Ah, I see. Uh, well, for me, it used to be the Facebook page. But now that they have a lot of changes, it's like it's hard to get on the news feed. Yep. Uh, that's why I kind of like feel it's not that useful anymore. Uh, and I think for me it's Instagram because it's very image based and uh, it's a huge community. There are so many people that you can reach and by having the tags and by um, linking people and using hashtags you can connect easily and that's why I think Instagram is like the channel I use most for social media. Yeah, uh, what's, your, what's your Instagram handle? <laughs> Six. Follower. <laughs> Do it. Yeah, I'm not and as huge not, on, and, on Instagram like you. But you have like, you're no, probably no. there for, I don't know, you have like 1,000 posts. I'm very impressed. 
Andre. You are in early because you get yeah. that name, right? Well, <laughs> honestly, it wasn't that early. I think my yeah. name's just spelled weird. Um, but for me, for first of all, thank you for the question. For me, it's just it's really Instagram. Like my New York experience would be super different without Instagram. Um, like I got to DM people, go to meets, like meet all these people straight up just from that, which is so cool. And I feel like if I moved to New York, like. 15 years ago, or like even 30 years ago when photography was way more of a like rich dudes club, there would be no way to kind of break into it. So yeah. I'm super thankful for it. Yeah, social um, media definitely changed the game for yeah. creativity, I think. Hey, we have time for one more portfolio, actually. Yeah. Uh, Christoph, Christoph Shafunsky? Shafunsky? Okay. I think so. So. Thank you guys. I'm so I was scared to try to say to say that name. Okay, you yeah. say it now. Christoph Chafulski. <laughs> Chafulski. Yeah. 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 Chafulski. Yes. Perfect. And he's a digital artist photographer from uh, Kielce, Poland. Yeah. Okay. All right. And uh, again, let's start with you now, Andre. Like, what 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 piqued your interest in this? I'm gonna pick uh, one I know Julian's gonna like. Let's go to silence. Yeah. Silence. We talked about this yesterday. Yeah. Yeah. Oh wow. That's very Julie-esque. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Get him, Julia. <laughs> yeah, it's it's very. I, I was looking at it yesterday, and I was so surprised because it's like it's very much uh, like this one photo that I've been doing for Adobe Life in Paris. Yes. Uh, which was which is a kind of double exposure. So um, yeah, I love that. I love how you've been using uh, the the perspective and like how you're when you're looking at it, you're like. Oh my god, okay, no, this cannot be, that's not the normal way you can see it. Um, and yeah, I think it's beautiful, I love the tones. And also, like, when you scroll down, I like that you can see the details as well. Wow. Yeah, this is really nice. This done. is, yeah, I was very, I'm very much into that. I think it's a great, uh, great thing to pick out details. I haven't seen that before, but I think it's a good way to, um, yeah, to present a photo. Uh, yes, and it's also a way to, to say that this is actually in a higher resolution, that it can yeah. be a very good print as yeah, well. Yeah, yeah. Um, so this is, says retouching digital art and graphic design. So I'm guessing this is like a photo composition as yeah. well. Yeah, yeah, so, um, it's beautiful. Is this something that you guys do as well, like photo composition? Like, do you add stuff to your images to tell a better story, or do you try to avoid that? I try to avoid that. I don't do a ton of it, um, but I will say that it's amazing that you have this level of detail. Um, I guess since I did journalism early, they always hammered us about not altering things in images. But I think that over time, it's something that I want to explore. Just being able to understand like how I can be just as creative from shoot and then to edit. Uh, let's go up and go to... Um, Glitch art. He has, a, uh, oh. he has a lot of small stuff that we can kind of okay. siphon through. Yeah. So, Christoph, this is good that you have uh, uh, the um, uh, the explanation, yeah. uh, which we didn't have in the other project. It would have been nice. Always, like, please, 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 uh, always try to put in as much information as you can about the project because this is your one chance to be discovered. And believe me, that when I'm in search of talent on Behance. The more I understand about the person, uh, also in textual form, it makes it easier for me to understand, you know, how the creative process is, uh, how where the ideas come from. Because seeing only beautiful images is, it just doesn't cut it. It doesn't, uh, you know, there's so many beautiful images around. Uh, so knowing about your process and uh, the reasons behind your uh, your choices is very very important. All right. Yeah. Um, I think it's beautiful. I like that he uh, is in some sort of playful mood because he's trying out a lot of different techniques. Um, and I like that there's this background happening. Oh, ah, so it's actually oh, like it's actually one big. one huge photo. One huge okay, thing. yeah, um, yeah. I think it's beautiful. I really like when I looked at that yesterday. I was like, okay, I want to try that out as well. And I think that when something like that happens, mm -hmm. it, it's it's good. So. Um. Yeah. So glitches is something fascinating. Yeah. Uh, I think I was at a Creative Jam once, and one of the participants like uh, had this photo, 
and then open it as a text file and started like deleting pieces of text inside of the JPEG file. Okay. And that made the glitches. But whoa. completely random. I'm out here reckless, bro. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> that was like, I was going, whoa. whoa. So <laughs> I think oh my, my favorite part about this act actually is the use of color blocking that you're mm -hmm. using here. Yeah. So obviously you have a nice blur effect, beautiful texture here. But um, this, these little pieces of color block that let us know visually that you've started the glitch, mm -hmm. obviously we know it. But as you scroll further down, you'll see in these other images, there are very slight examples of yeah. it throughout. Yeah. Um, and you're using really primary colors that you see. Like, remember when your TV used to glitch, or our TV used to glitch when we were little? It's that same feeling, which I think is really nice. So it feels a little familiar. Um, so I'd love to see more of this work um, yeah. in the future. I think it's really interesting and like, strong. Yeah, I think so too. I saw a couple of the ones. Uh, this one's actually interesting opposite. The Biffy Claro? Mm -hmm. It's like an album cover. Oh, our, our yeah. Video is an example oh, it's a school project, okay. okay. Ding, ding, oh, ding, what's happening? Ding, 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 <laughs> the purge is starting. Oh my god. <laughs> Biffy Claro, okay. opposite. Have the, this this narrative that we also saw in the uh, in this other photo. Yeah. Beautiful. It's yeah. great. Great typeset. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, the sand serif is a really good look, um, and I think that you just understand the importance of like texture on on album images, especially in the rack, into the wrap to the back. Like it's easy to just want to use a flat color, but there's something nice about like nice mm -hmm. textures, and you have step by step, and that's oh, why yeah. I want yeah. to click on it. Yeah. Yes, that's awesome. Yeah. That's always very good. The step by step. Because you know, many people. Oh, I don't want to share my, you know, my process because people are going to steal it. Yeah. No. <laughs> Nobody has time for that. That's not. That's not. That's not how it works. And uh, yeah, so showing your process is always is always really really great. Yeah. Awesome. I really love this one. It feels very calm. I can almost imagine the type of music. No, it says parental advisory. Oh. So, I was thinking maybe we have some chill stuff. No. No, I think it's... Like, it's da, 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 da. One, I'd, <laughs> one, I'd be so lucky, bro. <laughs> All right. Big band in New York City, yeah. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Uh -huh. All right, we have... Yeah. Okay, so we have uh, one more minute left. One more minute. One more minute. Uh, two minutes, two okay. Minutes. So yeah, let's just wrap it up. And uh, so, yes, Julia. Um, yeah few last words about, uh, you know, like invite invite our friends here in the chat to, to join you on your adventure. Yeah, I would be very happy if you would join me. Um, and in the next few days, I'm also going to do a map mm -hmm. uh, that you can see where I'm going to um, or where I've where, been to. Where, 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 where I've been to. Been to. Um, <laughs> and I really... Yeah, I hope that I can like take you on a journey and that you can follow me and get to know some stuff about the diverse culture in Europe and yeah, it would awesome. be great. Andre? Um, I mean, thanks for taking the time out. Um, it did, the hour did go fast. It did, yeah, right? It did. Yeah. But no, I, I guess I'm just thankful. <laughs> at the end of the day that Adobe decided that we were interesting enough to become residents and now you guys decided to get up and listen to us talk for an hour. Yeah. Um, so I guess send any opinions you have or recommendations for places to go as I travel. Mm -hmm. um, and I look forward to it. So All right, so Julia and Andre are two photographer uh, creative residents for this year 2017. We're live from the 99 New Conference here in New York City on adobelive.com and we will be right back at the top of the hour with some um, other incredible guests. So don't, uh, don't leave, stay tuned and uh, we'll be seeing you in just five minutes. See you later. See you. Bye.